Michael Woodhouse. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I want to thank my colleague and friend Scott Simpson for the opportunity to share this call and also to add my acknowledgement and congratulations to Dr Cam Calder, not only on getting this bill through to the finish line, but also for his contribution to the National Party caucus and also to the class of 08, of which he is such a valued member who will be missed. And one of the things we will miss, I think, is his erudite articulation, his ratiocination and his extra-large words that he's able to inject into his speeches. Uh, as a member of the parliamentary sports club, the parliamentary rugby team, we will miss him rising like a salmon from the middle of the line-out, catching, leaping those balls for the half-back to, uh, to spread wide for the, um, as our colleague Chris Tremaine said, for those twinkle-toed wingers to get all the glory. What we won't miss, Mr Speaker, is those embarrassing things that poke out the bottom of his shorts that he calls legs, that skinny sparrows would be embarrassed to call legs. But nevertheless, somehow they do eject him into the air and uh, catch the ball uh, as, as, with, with such aplomb. So um, I, I do want to, with, at the risk of uh, injecting a little bit of negativity in here, I do want to add my voice to the uh, rejection of the criticisms that somehow the committee stage of this bill was uh, a filibustering of the worst sort. I'll say two things about that. Firstly, it is the chairman's prerogative to decide the length and quality and quantity of the debate in the committee stage. No one else's. And secondly, if there was a textbook written about filibustering. It was written by the Labour Party in 2011 at the end of the 49th Parliament in the committee stage of the Royal Society Bill. Those in that Parliament will remember the Royal Society Bill, which wasn't filibustered for a day. It wasn't filibustered for a week. We spent about nine months right. talking about a bill that didn't matter so that that party could avoid a member's bill in the name of Heather Roy being passed in that parliament. It was unsuccessful. Oh, I see, there's the moral high ground, you see. It wasn't as noble as Sue Maroney's bill. There we go. It's the arrogance of noblesse. And I don't accept it, Mr Speaker. I don't expect, it, expect that uh, we would agree with that at all. I want to just touch on Darian Fenton's comments. Because she did, it was a note of sadness, I think, at the fact that she had had four bills drawn out of the member's ballot but not able to pass one. I want to just remind her that she will go down in history in the 49th Parliament as the first member for 88 years in this Parliament to have a bill, a member's bill, defeated at the committee stage. And she was the unfortunate um, uh, victim, I suppose, of the fact that the Parliament, uh, the government had changed between her second reading and the committee stage of a bill that she had, but she will be noted for that. Uh, and I certainly acknowledge her for her efforts, and we will hear from her, I think, tomorrow, is that right, uh, in her valedictory. Uh, and so it is a time, as we come to the end of the 50th Parliament, to acknowledge those contributions of all members. And I particularly want to talk about Dr Calder's commitment to Manurewa, because I know as much as anybody how hard it is to be a list MP in a red seat and to act in all respects like a constituency MP. It is a thankless task. List MP is a pejorative term amongst some, but I have seen the effort and the energy and the commitment that he has made to the people of Manurewa and the people of New Zealand. And I think he can hold his head high and describe himself as one of this parliament's best list MPs in serving the community that this party, this caucus, asked him to serve. And I think of all of the things that he will be remembered for, it will be this bill, it will be his collegial support of this great government, but it will also be his commitment to the people of Manurewa. And for that, Dr Calder, you can hold your head high. I commend you and I commend the bill. The debate's concluded and the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Summary offences, possession of high power laser pointers, amendment bill, third reading. I call on members, order of the day number two. Parental leave and employment protection, six months paid parental leave, amendment bill, committee stage continued.